right. We want to look at agriculture today, and I want us to revisit the topic plant, uh, plants, where we talked about plants. So we find that under plants, there will be more uh, revision. I want us to look at some questions which we talked about earlier. So we are looking, going back to plants. And this is agriculture. Plants. Right, I just want us to look at some questions which we talked about. Let's refresh what we once talked about. We talked about byproducts. We remember we talked about the word byproduct. So, what is a byproduct of maize? Byproduct of maize. Yes, Bethel. What is it? Yes, yes, yes. Very good. A byproduct of maize is millimil. That is what we get. The source is maize. Then from maize, we get millimil. That is the byproduct. Very good. What do we call wild plants? What are wild plants? What are wild plants? Luanda? What are wild plants, Luanda? that grow in a forest. Yes. What can someone say? Yes, Ashanti. Wow, plants are plants that, are, that grow on their self. Yes, they grow on their own. As she had said, in a, in a forest or outside the garden, they are plants that grow on their own. They don't need to be they plant it. You just find them in the forest, outside the garden, in the veld. Those are called wild plants. All right. Can you tell me two sources of plant nutri nutrients? Plant nutrients. I said here we are refreshing, we are revisiting what we did, what are two sources of plant nutrients? Remember, plant nutrients. Plant nutrients, Nicholas, two sources. Which are those? Uh -huh, you forget easily. Which are those plant nutrients? <laughs> Huh? Which are the plants, nutrients? Phosphorus. No. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Luanda. Nitrogen. No. No. The so the the mm -hmm. sources. The source. Sources. Of those nitrogen, those phosphorus, Ashanti. Look for them to grow well. What are those sources? The plant sources of those plants. I want the sources. Where do we get them from? Yes, Nicholas. Fertilizer. Right. We have what we call, I'm going to tell you one, and I want you to tell me the other one. The sources are, they are what? Yes, ma'am. Uh, 
Yes, Vanessa. Okay. There. Vanessa. Speak up, Vanessa. Organic. Yes, they are organic. And which is the other one? Bethel. Inorganic. Yes, we have got organic and inorganic. Those are the two sources of plant nutrients. Then that is where you are going to say uh, phosphorus, is it organic or inorganic? Fertilizer compound D, is it organic or inorganic? But we get them from the two sources, which are organic and inorganic. Please take note of that. Don't forget the sources of plant nutrients. And then which are those plant nutrients? That is where you will now say fertilizers, whatever, whatever. Right. What is a manure? What kind of a plant nutrient is manure? From those two sources which I gave you, manure falls under which one? Manu, Bethel, organic fertilizer. Yes, very good. Manu falls under organic. It is an organic. It is an organic a plant nutrient. What is cabbage? What kind of vegetable is cabbage? Is it a legume? Is it a fruit? Is it tuber? Is it a leaf? Cabbage? What kind of plant is it? Mm? Nicholas? Nicholas, cabbage falls under which group of vegetables? Cabbage, yes, Luanda. We did this. Falls under leaves. It falls under leaf uh, vegetables. Remember, please don't forget so quickly. Don't forget. It falls under leaf vegetables. That is uh, cabbages. Okay. Right. Leaf vegetables belong to a group called what? Leaf vegetables. They belong to which group? Do you remember the group? Where all leaf vegetables belong? Hmm? Leaf vegetables. where there are cabbage, rape, spinach, tunga, lettuce, they fall under which uh, type of family? They belong to which family? All leaf vegetables. Tawana, Tawana, I taught this. <laughs> no, they are leaf families, but they have a leaf, the name. What name do they fall? Luanda, ah, I taught you this. Luanda.
Have you forgotten about this word? What is it? Brave. Brassica. Yes, they all fall under brassica. Have you forgotten the roses? Huh? All decorative flowers falling under which group? We had the leaves falling under brassica. Then the roses, yeah, Ashanti, falling under. The um, family. The what? Ornamental. Yes, 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 yes. Ornamental. Remember, we've got ornamental family, brassica. Don't forget that. Right. Where should vegetables be stored? Should they be stored in a hot place, in a cool place, in a warm place, or in a cold place? Vegetables, where should they be stored? Luanda? Vegetables should be stored in a cool, dry place. Cool, yes, it should be cool so that they maintain their fresh temperature so that they are always fresh. It mustn't be what where it, they are. It mustn't be very, very cold because they will freeze. When they defreeze, they lose the color and also the taste. But a cool, dry place makes the vegetables maintain that freshness. Okay, what do you call a young plant? A young plant? Vanessa? We call it that is evening. Hmm? We young plants. A young, a very young, small, small plant. Ayanda. What is it called? Yes, Ashanti. Seedling. Seedling. Yes, it is called the A seedling. Seedling. This is a young plant. Is called the A. <laughs> yes, it is a seedling. Right from these ones, which one is a brassica? Tomato. Onion. Carrot. Spinach. Which one is the prasika? Ayanda? Ayanda. Ayanda, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Ayanda? What I'm saying? You, you can You can't hear me properly. You can't hear. Yes, I understand. I Why can't you find somewhere where your network can can you uh, check your network? I think it's your network there. Please move and find where you can get good network. It seems we have a problem there. Yes, what did we say, Bethel? What is the answer? Bethel? 
Bethel, I cannot hear you. Yes, Nicholas. Nicholas. Yes, it is Pinaj. Also, my network is not stable. My network is also not stable. It's unfortunate. Right, what is used for transplanting seeds? Transplanting seeds, what do we use? Vanessa, we want to transplant seeds. What do we use? Those uh, 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 cotton tools. They are cotton tools which are used, but there is this special one, which is used for transplanting seeds. What name do you give to that? We use a... We use yes. a Try, what is it? A rake. Rake, hey, Vanessa, for transplanting seeds. You can't use a rake. Yes, brave. What do we use? A. A? A spade. A spade. No, we cannot use a spade. No, Nicholas. Let's hear Nicholas. Garden trail. Garden what? Garden trail. Bethel, what do we use? Yes, trowel. Oh, you wanted to say trowel, say trowel. Huh? <laughs> yes, it is a garden trowel. Remember, we say the small plants are called seedlings. They are very small, they are tender, so they need special care. So when you are transplanting them, you should use a small garden trowel, not a very big uh, shovel. It's going to cut them because now we are dealing with the small young plants. They are also tender. All right. Okay. Right. Who remembers this word, bolting? Bolting? What is bolting? Do you remember? We once talked about this last term. This word, who remembers? What does it mean? What is bolting? Bolting? What does it mean? What is bolting? Who don't remember? Hmm? Right, let us look at this. What can you say about this cabbage? This cabbage? What can you say? What can you say about that cabbage? Yes, teacher. Yes, Bethel. Bolting is a production of a flower stem. Yes, you see, now this cabbage, it was a cabbage, then later on, the flower started to grow inside the cabbage. This is caused by very low temperature, which causes cabbage flowers, which is called the bolting. It is not good. If you find your cabbage bolting, it means it doesn't have any more value. It is poor climatic uh, conditions because the, the brassicas like spinach, like cabbages, need warm temperatures, but very low temperatures causes cabbage to flower, which is not good. And that is, I mean, bolting. So it's okay for today. Let us end here.
so that we load again joy 